Hey, Credit Heroes, need some inspiration? Well, today we're joined by Nicole Cavone, the star CEO of the Credit Click, and she's going to reveal how she took control of her life, pivoted careers with a purpose, and grew a very large and successful credit repair business in a very short time. So you better stick around. My name is Daniel Rosen, and welcome to Credit Repair Business Secrets. Our most successful credit heroes, the ones who make a great living and change a ton of lives, they all have a few things in common. They are resilient, they take control of their lives, and they never settle for anything less than their vision of success. Nicole Cavone is a proud mother of two, a social media star with over a quarter million followers, and she is a mogul on a mission. After she was fired from her job, she saw an opportunity to change careers, and now she's the owner and CEO of the Credit Click, a very, very successful credit repair business. She's a real credit hero with a passion for changing lives, and I know you're going to love this interview. So please welcome Nicole Cavone. Hey, Nicole, welcome. Thanks for having me. I'm so excited you're here. I can't wait to learn all about you. Uh, in fact, I want to I wanna know everything, but let's start with where are you right now and where did you grow up? Um, I grew up in Illinois. I was born in Elk Grove Village and I moved to California and uh -huh. I didn't really like it out there. So then I moved back home and now I'm back here in Illinois. And what was your life like before credit repair? I was working a nine to five job, um, paycheck to paycheck. It was stability because you knew that you had that money coming every two weeks from the job, but it just, it was never enough. Um, I couldn't be attentive for my kids for certain things since I would have to work, um, trying to find help with them, a babysitter and stuff like that for breaks and different things. It just... It just was super hard being a single mom doing that. So now here we are today and I'm a successful business owner. So anything it's, is possible. It's amazing. And, and, and most people learn credit repair by fixing their own credit. Was that your story? Yes, I had a lot of credit issues of my own. As a matter of fact, before I ever started doing credit, I had a friend that was doing credit that had been using your software for years. And I would like, she would have sales and different flyers and stuff on her page. And I would always see it and I would support her business. So I would repost the posts and stuff like that. And I would bring her a lot of clients. So and I got to the point where she was like, oh, Nikki, like, um, I'm going to start giving you a referral for every client that you give me. And I'm like, OK. And I started just racking in on referrals. And remind you, I was working a nine to five job, too. So I'm racking in referrals. And she was like, you know what? Have you ever thought about doing credit yourself? And I'm like, no. And she was like, you should let me show you. So I'm like, OK. So she was charging at the time uh, to teach people how to do credit. And at the time, I didn't have the money like that. Um, but she was like, so what I'll do for you is you can work it off. You can work towards it with clients and you'll make 50 percent of whatever you bring in. So I said, OK, that's fine. So I was working at a, a way, I was a fraud prevention specialist for a trucking company. And I worked, I had a small office inside of a large warehouse. And this company is like in 15, 16 states. And um, I had a small office in there. And the crazy part about it is I lost my job for doing credit. I got caught doing credit on the clock on my work computer. Oh. It had got to the point that I was doing everybody's credit at my job. I cannot make this up. Like, I was doing all the warehouse workers, some of the management, like I was printing off my letters, mailing them. I would be so caught up and on point with my work at my nine to five job that I would set myself up to be able to work both at the same time. So the day that I got fired for doing credit on the clock, I that same week I made my first $10,000 with this lady and her company. And I'm like, this can't be real. I thought it was just a joke. Like I was like telling myself, like, I'm got to be doing something wrong. Like this can't be real. So I made my first $10,000 COVID hit and I was working for the lady. And then I had just got so big with my clientele base that I just went off and started my own. And I just was a single mom thinking about how other women like myself could use extra income to help, you know, things of that nature. And the lady that first taught me how to do credit, she charged a ridiculous amount. And for me, I'm like, 
a lot of people can't afford that. I have to do something that's affordable. So I would, I had started doing something called a business in a box and I would go and buy them like a refurbished MacBook in a box and send it like with like a credit click hoodie, a credit click keychain, a cup, a mug. Like I'm super branded with myself. And I would send them like a little business in the box and they would have like a $50 HP printer. Like I would use the same thing for everybody and I would charge like $2,000, but it would come with everything. So I had like got my first 10 employees, COVID hit, everybody had money, people wanted to fix their credit and it just started going from there. Like my first year using your credit repair software, my first year and I opened my business September of 2020, I made 98K for the year on my 1099 form. On my, from electronic merchant terminal, I have it on paperwork. Like I made $98,000 my first couple of months being in business. So I'm like, oh my God, I'm doing anything that I want to do. Me and my kids are traveling once a month. I just bought a new car. I'm in this house. I have credit card limits with like unlimited limits on there. I'm like, was just couldn't even believe how elevated my life had. People could not know a thing about credit. And if they come and use your software, your detailed videos gives step by step on how to be successful. And it is amazing what you do. Like it is, I wouldn't go to any other software. Like I've had a bunch of companies come to me and I'm like, no, I'm good with this software that I'm in. I, every program that you sell, every class that you sell, I have took every single class and have my little cert certification from you guys in a frame downstairs in my office on the wall. You and your story is very motivating to me. Um, my second year of credit, doing credit repair, I made $307,000. Wow. And that's not even just, that's just on paper. That's not even with the Zells and the cash apps and the other way we take payments. And everybody that joined my team paid me a fee to come join my team. And you know what I'm saying? I also take advantage of your affiliate program with the software. I have my own flyer that I mass out in a newsletter to all of my clients in Credit Repair Cloud. I'm having a, um, a Black Friday sale. I am so pleased with the software. Like, I have no complaints. Anytime I send a question, they get back to me. I just, overall, using your software, gaining the knowledge that I have, it's worth more than money. So I've got into the business where at first when I started doing credit, I was just like, wow, I can't believe I'm making this much legal money. This is crazy. Like, wow, I can't believe it too. You know what? Some clients aren't even worth the money. You know why? Because some clients aren't worth the problem. I've got to the point where all money is not good money. You get what I'm saying? Sure. So I'm past that point. I get a real joy in my heart to help people. It, it fills me to help people because I was the person that had no help. I just love the, I love how the system works. I love how now you have integrated with um, active campaign and stuff like that. So I really take advantage of the system and I swear by all of your courses, I make all of my employees take your courses. That's amazing. Yeah, we saw we saw that you took our challenge and you graduated from our master class. And I want to know, as a now successful credit repair business owner, what did you learn from the challenge? I kind of binge did all of the classes, like, and I did them a couple of times. If you look on there, all the way around the board, um, I just learned the importance of marketing. I learned the importance of communication. I will tell you, I probably spend more than I make, okay? But I'm so passionate about what I do and I believe in what I do and what I help with with everything. Like uh, my company does, we just did a turkey drive real big here in Chicago um, with one of my business partners from Exclusive 773. He's been doing a turkey drive for 11 years. This was his 11th year. And um, we were blessed to be able to be a part of that. We do toy drives. We go to shelters. And I tell all of my friends, I have so many friends in the credit repair world that uses different softwares. And Matter of fact, this girl that I know, I had introduced her to your software and she was using a different software and she was like, oh my God, you don't have to write the information in yourself. Everything is pre-populated. Like she was in a new world. She didn't, she never seen this before because she's old school with it. And I introduced it to her and I'm like, this is, you can't mess up doing this. And now that you have the, where you can uh, fax the letters, you don't even have to do anything. Everything's all in the system. Like 
it's just a great overall program. I learned so much from your classes. I even took the how to do the financial coach class, talking to people about their finance. Yeah, I took that one too. I took every course you had and have my certificate for everyone. Well, I really appreciate hearing all that. And I'm just so happy to hear about your success. I mean, to, to go from being fired in that same day, deciding you're going to launch a credit repair business, that was pretty gutsy. I know you have two young kids and you've got a lot on the line. How did you actually get that going so quickly? I just got dedicated. I'm like, you know what? I just had a prep talk with myself. You know how some people, like for instance, some people that want to lose weight, they they say, oh, we're, we'll go, I'm going on a diet on Monday. No, you got to start right then and there. You got to get dedicated to the point where I had to it was trial and error for me. I had to learn from my mistakes. I had to mess up a couple of times. I had to go through some people that I needed to go through to understand that you can no longer hang with people that fits your past. You got to hang with people that fit your future. I do some pretty powerful people's credit too. So I have a, a few celebrity clients that I deal with. Um, and it just feel, it feels good when somebody goes to apply for something and they get approved. You get what I'm saying? So as I tell my clients, as long as you guys listen and let me guide you and don't see your credit score go up to a 720 and go apply for a 10, 20 things. No, don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, as long as they listen to me, I've got several people approved for home loans. We did something at the shelter with a give back. Um, and I even got a client and I paid for her identity IQ. She was staying at a shelter with her kid. I helped her with her credit. And right now today, she's in her own home with her kids. So stuff like that, that's what keeps me going. It keeps me going. We, we serve with a purpose. So that's my big thing. And I just treat my clients how I would want to be treated. I would like to be able to pick up the phone and call my credit specialist and talk to them. I don't want to send you an email. I don't want to, I want to talk to you on the phone. You have my whole life in your hands and I want to be able to talk to you. So even with my big following base, I talk to every one of my clients, every one of them. And I'm backed by the Better Business Bureau and you know we're a high risk industry. Um, I don't have any bad reviews. I don't have lots of chargebacks. I've had your system for four and a half years and I don't have any issues with it. So what's your secret to having so few chargebacks and no negative reviews? Um, my secret is communicating with the client, making sure that all the client's questions are answered, making sure the client has a clear line of communication to get in contact with you. And you don't want to leave the client with any un unanswered questions. So that's very important. That is amazing. And how big is your team today? Um, it's 20 of us. Wow, that is incredible. And the fact that you've you've only been in the credit repair business for a little more than four years, this is really, really impressive. And most businesses struggle in their first few months, but you had initial success. I boomed for my first two and a half years. Like right now, I'm going into my slow season to where probably like normally on a normal month, I probably make between twenty and $30,000 a month. And now I'm getting ready to go into my slow season, which is kind of like from October to like January. But I make all of that back up doing taxes with my tax uh, professional, Doyen. She's really, really good. She's out of Rockford, Illinois. She's been doing taxes for so many years and she taught me and... Um, I'm grateful to do that. So that kind of makes up for what I lost. And then once tax season hits, it's like right back up. It's right back up. So we have a couple of slow seasons. So my slow season would be like $10,000 a month or 13 k a month. Those are kind of like my slow seasons. But I'm very successful to be able to, I can work anywhere in the world as long as it has Wi-Fi. Amazing. And now I don't even have to worry about if they have a post office or not because I don't even have to mail. I can go right through right through the system. In fact, it's convenient. And now you're changing so many lives. Can you share a memorable success story of one of your credit repair clients? Yeah, I can even share one um, about myself. Um, Great. Even better. As well. Yeah. So I had a lot of bad stuff on my credit, evictions, credit cards I didn't pay off. And I had got to the point where I knew I had to get myself together because I went to apply for a job and I got denied the job because of my credit. I passed everything but the credit. And I don't think that people understand the importance of credit. You can't even get a job these days with bad credit because they're looking at your credit. Like if you don't pay your bills on time, you're a liability. Why would I want you to come and work for my company and you don't even care enough about your own personal finance? You're not 
not going to treat our company the right way. You're looked at as a liability. You may one day walk off and quit, you know, so people don't want liabilities around. Everybody wants assets around. So that's kind of is my thing. Um, Afterwards, like I had, I couldn't get a place in my name. My car wasn't in my name. I couldn't get a bank account. I was in check systems. I just really just did whatever with my credit and didn't care and didn't realize the importance of it because we weren't taught that um, about credit. So now that I know the importance of it, I talk to my kids about it. My kids know about credit. They speak about credit, the importance of credit, and even the importance of investing in yourself and having your own business is super important. So I just try to lead by example for my team and my kids and um, you and, and even with the credit click as us being a part of the credit click, you can't be a part of the credit click and have bad credit because we're not hypocrites. We can't be saying you need your, to fix your credit up, but our credit is in the low 300s and we owe 20 people. That's not OK. So, you know, that's another big thing about becoming a part of the credit click. You get to learn all the knowledge. You become a team of people. If you have questions, stuff like that, um, you got a whole support group, basically. And we're all focused on the same thing. And we all have a passion to do the same thing. And that's help people. People change their lives and get themselves together. Sure. Same as us here at Credit Repair Cloud. Our whole team have amazing credit. And, and, yes. and yeah, it's it's just the, the being around it and focused on it. And they come in and they start to see the importance of it. And it's really cool to see their lives change. So I want to know, you get fired from this job. That it, it was a trucking company, and you were in fraud prevention. Right. So basically, what would say? For instance, you're waiting for something from Wayfair to come, and Wayfair says that they and the carrier said that they delivered it, but the client got to the place or the location, and it's not there. It's my job to investigate. Did they sign for the package? Was it a picture taken? Uh, are we approving the claim? just go through the steps like that. So I would do work on the computer all day and we didn't have anybody like standing over us down our backs or whatever. Me and all my friends worked at this place. And um, so I would bring my laptop, but we were had access to anything on the computer because we would have to investigate certain things. So I just thought I was slick getting away with it. I'm using their printer. I'm using their Wi-Fi, doing credit on the clock. People are coming to pay me. They probably, I don't know what they thought I was doing in there. And I got caught and I'm like, it's okay. And then that same week, like a couple of days later, um, I made my first $10,000 and I have not look back since by the grace of God, I have been successful and able to continue to not have to go get a job and not have to leave my kids. I don't miss anything. We're always on vacation. It's just, it really pays to have good credit and to know what you're doing. Even if people didn't want to have a credit business, just the importance of knowing how to maintain your credit and keep it up and what you need to do, you know, is very important in life, period. I feel like us, we need to be teaching our children that. I talk about credit everywhere. When I go to the restaurant and I'm signing the bill for, with my credit card, I'm, I'm leaving my business card in there as well. I still do the footwork. I still get out there. I'm not big headed to the point where I think, oh, I got all these clients. I got all these people that work for me. I'm not going to do credit no more. No, I still do credit. I get out there. I go to pop up shops. Um, I'm very active in different communities. When then I put on my website, like um, try the award winning software that we use to be successful and make six figures. Click here. And then when I go on my little affiliate portal, I'll see that I have clicks and stuff like that. So I do everything that's suggested of me. And and I would, if I had to give anybody any advice, it would be to follow the instructions of the people that have made it and have already, you know, established, they're established, they know what they're doing. The, this is really the road to success. If you pay attention and move the correct way, you you really can't lose. Sure. Yeah. Why, why try to pave your own path and reinvent something that's already exists? Just model success. Yes. That's really good advice. Yes. At the beginning of the business... How long were you running the business all by yourself? I wasn't. So I um, I had agents with me from the previous company before I decided to start my own. I had agents with me. And when I was deciding to leave the company, she sent out a company email and said, um, hey, um, 
Nikki has decided to go venture out on her own and start her own company. Any of the agents that signed up to be a part of the team um, that would like to go with Nikki, I'll release you guys out of your contract and your NDA. So that's what happened. All the girls that had joined the team for me because of me, because they seen me doing credit, wanted to come with me to my company. So I took probably about six or seven girls with me. And then um, once I started promoting, they would see like one two, three times out of the year, we do really big events, but our annual retreat, we do it really, really big. So like last year we went to Florida and we had like a, like a 20 bedroom mansion and a state with a pool and everything. And we all put on for it and we go there and two of my uh, agents that work for me, my fraud, uh, my fraud department and my business uh, credit department, those two men that work for me, they also own party buses and an event business. So they always overdo our events because they pour back into us at the credit click. So we do big events and they'll like decorate it. And um, we did like an event for Arabian Nights and the whole entire place was draped up. We were all dressed like we were in the Jasmine and Aladdin movie. And, you know, like we just do stuff as a whole. We come together and we do it real big once a year and we all put up money for it. And um, we just get like, a really big house, the party buses, and we'll go to like a nice dinner. We'll have like, we had credit click baseball jerseys, had a softball game, a cookout. We gave away school supplies. Um, so we do like a variation every year of things, but we always try to get together at least two, three times out of the year. And every time we post our company retreats, we have, we are swarmed with job applications of people wanting to join just, just for the vibe and the aura of being a part of a winning team, being a part of a positive, a positive safe space to go. And we're all trying to do the same thing, get ourselves together and help others get their self together. Amazing that you created this business from nothing and you immediately had a team and then you started to grow and scale that team. Did, did you go to business school or were, are you completely self-taught? I'm completely self-taught. Amazing. For, for people listening who are just starting to grow their business, when do you think someone with a new business should hire their first team member? Right away. I feel like um, trying to do everything on your own is is hectic. It's overwhelming. It's draining. I feel like um, I was blessed to have a team of girls that most of them um, were my friends for 20 plus years um, that poured into my business the way they did and supported me and my mission and believed in what I was what I was um, bringing to the table. So I don't, I don't do the, uh, I'm the boss here and you guys got to answer to me. Everybody is offered a position on the team to be a part of something. Like I got a girl that does our newsletters, a girl that does content, a girl that does our TikToks. We've been going viral with our TikToks. We just grew our page over the last seven days to 10K followers, um, just following different steps and different like little uh, seminars we'll take on how to grow and and, you know, different things like that. I give my team everything I got. Anything that I know, anything that I learn new, I give them everything. So anything that I I know, I'm calling them. Here's the Zoom link, guys. Let's get on a meeting. I want to discuss with you guys what I've learned. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like just different little hacks I've learned, like for the American Express. I got approved for four American Expresses, unlimited cards at one time. You know what I'm saying? So I, I give them different tricks, different tools. Um, and I want... To, I want all of us to be successful. And I always tell my team, if you ever get to a point where you want to start your own company, I'm completely fine releasing you out of your agreement and supporting you in your new venture because you're never going to stay somewhere forever. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's got to grow and continue to rise. And that's completely fine with me. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I feel like being a part of a team and having people that see what you see is very important. Sure. I personally was a person that was stubborn and wanted to do it all by myself. Having a team is vital important. And you wouldn't believe like, see, the thing about credit repair cloud is it's a proven fact that it works. I've seen it with my own eyes. Everybody that works for me has seen it with their own eyes. So when people get that credit repair is a scam, oh, that's a scam. And this is like all of this. I tell my clients right in the door, you can do your own credit. Anybody can fix their own credit. People don't have time. People don't want to do that. People don't want to research this. People don't want to do the legwork. People pay for conveniency. So you know what I'm saying? As long If you're being convenient and you're providing good, trustworthy service, that person, you only got to do one person's credit the right way. 
that person, word of mouth is powerful. They're going to tell someone and that person, because they're going to be frantic. Oh my God, look at what I was able to go and get. Now your friends see that you're elevating. They want to elevate with you. So that's kind of like how I feel about that team is important. It really is. Sure. I, hey, you touched on marketing a minute ago. I want to talk about that more. What's working for you in marketing? Are, do you have affiliates? Are you running paid ads? Or is it all social? What I do is I try to set a goal for myself to get one client a day. This has been my goal forever. Get one client a day. Um, I prefer a payment plan. So that's my goal is to get one client a day. Some days I may not get one client a day, but I never give up on promoting. Um, I promote and promote and promote because maybe I don't get a client for two, three days. And then that fourth day, I got five new clients that signed up. So now I'm getting ready to do a sale. So I do pay for ads on my Instagram and Facebook. I will say that um, what has been driving a lot of clients to me with my algorithm on my page is Reels. The Reels are really been driving people to my page. Content is very important. Consistency is very important. Posting every day is very important. People want to see you active. People want to see that the business is serious. Okay, you're serious. You're posting every day. Um, automatic replies through the DM. Comment comment repair or comment this. And now you're getting a, like all of that stuff is vital. Going live on your page. Newsletters for the clients. Um, different things that you got going on. Join my community. You know what I'm saying? I, I Subscribe to me. I give you some free letters. You want to reel them in. It's very important to stay active. If somebody comments, you comment back. You answer all DMs. You answer them promptly. So I have a person in place that does all of this for me. I hire somebody to do everything. You know, that's their contribute to the credit click. So that's, that's what I do. So social media for me, I make all of my money on Snapchat, Instagram, and Facebook. Every dollar that I have comes off of the internet or word of mouth. And then like I do, you can text the number in my bio and you'll get automatic alerts about sales that we're having. If you stay on the app, you'll see updates in the app. So I do everything possible that I can to show them, you know, that we have it going on here. Because it could be a hundred of us having a credit repair business, but what's going to separate you from me? What's going to separate me from you? What am I going to do that's going to be, it could be a hundred of us in the room, but I got to think of something that's going to take me take me to the top. Like something, for example, I'm getting ready to come out with right before Christmas gift cards. Gift your family member the gift of financial freedom. You can't lose with that. You're gifting somebody the best thing that you can ever give them. A financial freedom, a start to a better, They like they say, would you rather have a million dollars in cash or an 800 credit score? A 800 credit score. People don't even know. People with good credit, you may not have the cash in the bank, but you are rich with a credit score like that and good credit health and showing the people that you could pay on time and you're not... You're keeping your utilization under 30%. You're making your on-time payments. You're doing everything you're supposed to do. You know, you're not overloading yourself with inquiries and stuff like that. That Those things are important. Um, so I try to let everybody know. I take advantage of all my affiliate links, like with Self Lender, NAV. Um, I'm, I just got approved. It took me like four months to get approved through NAV to be affiliate with them. But um I try to make money all the way around the board with whatever I can. So any affiliate program that you have, I do the Credit Hero Challenge, um, the you know the credit monitoring through you guys, sure. um, your affiliate program, um, and I always just send my links to anybody that I know that does not use Credit Repair Cloud, just to tell them like this is way simpler than what you're using because I've looked around at other ones, uh, they just weren't for me. How big is your Instagram following? So right now I'm at about two hundred and seventy four k. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. What advice do you have for someone who's just getting started on growing an Instagram following? What would you suggest to them? Staying consistent with posting. Um, look, uh, well, you will, obviously they won't have any followers because they just started it, but you want to stay consistent with posting. You want to post eye-grabbing attention things. You want to post things that people want to see. You know, I do my research and so does the girls that I use, um, like the best times of the day to post, when to post, stuff like that. So they do that for me, but social media is really big right now in the world. No matter how much you, people want to say that it's not, it just, it's, it's life right now. So me, I use my platform and it's an advantage as a business. I got 274K followers. I think to myself, if I could just turn all my followers into $1, 
You get what I'm saying? If I could make all of them try credit repair cloud or come join my program or something like that, what that would do for me. I've also been trying to get into the millionaires club. I've made over a million dollars. I just got to see how to do it with, um, with my cash payments. You know what I'm saying? But I've made, I've made, I've made a million dollars. Absolutely. For sure. I can tell by the number of clients you have. It's amazing. Absolutely. For sure. Now, when you're posting on social media, Instagram, for example, you're, you're balancing posts that are personal uh, about your personal life as well as your business, right? Right. So I'll post my kids because they get a lot of views and stuff on there. And then I will post my, um, I will post my kids. I'll post like every day I post something pertaining to my business because every day something is posted on my business page. So I'll always repost it on my story, tag the credit click um, or whatever. And yeah, like I'll, I'll balance it out. My kids, like if I'm going to the gym, I try to do motivational things. So I'll put a motivational quote up. It's like every day it's the same thing. I'll put a motivational quote up. Then I'll put up me going to work out and then I'll put up like my schedule for the day on credit repair cloud. Like I have some openings at this day and this time, I'll include my link, click the link to sign up. Every time I post, I always get clients. I get a lot of returning clients. Um, I really don't have no bad result, uh, no bad like reviews. Only thing I will say is you get the impatient clients that can't, you just signed up yesterday and you're texting me tomorrow asking me what's going on with my score. You got to give me 30 to 45 days. Sure. Um, I like that the uh, credit repair cloud has the client portal section where we can send them emails so they know to log into their client secure portal. And I think that's really that's really helpful because I ask clients that have had a bad taste of credit repair in their mouth, like, what didn't you like about that? And they'll say stuff to me like, I didn't like the fact that how am I seeing my results? So I'll ask them like, so what software or system do you use? Like, what do they use to see your results? I'm like, well, what credit re- what credit monitoring service do you use? Um, and they'll say, oh, well, we use Credit Karma. I'll be like, well, I don't use Credit Karma. And I'm also an affiliate with the Credit Repair Cloud. So I don't use Credit Repair. I don't use Credit Karma. And I'll tell my clients that. Um, they'll tell me like, oh, well, they'll just call me and tell me my results. I said, so you didn't have no proof that the the your file was worked. You didn't have any result like how do you see oh it's just what they call and tell me so that's what i like about credit repair cloud that they can see when their file has been worked because they get the email that says challenges on your behalf now you can log into your client your portal right there anything that has been removed updated to positive any new remarks everything can see whatever's deleted it's really self-explanatory so even people that are not super computer savvy would be able to figure something like this out because it's easy it's straight to the point it's straightforward hey what's a common misconception people have about credit repair that you wish you could correct that it's a scam um that everybody's scamming um and there are people that scam sure don't get me wrong it's just not me, you know, so I I try to move the correct way um, and follow the laws and the rules um, and stay up to date with training and what's new and stuff like that. So I really like to would love to get that nasty taste out of people's mouth that it's a scam because there are honest credit people out here that do it honest and make an honest living off of it that just want to help people. But you got those few bad apples that make it bad for all of us. So I just personally try to make sure that my clients have the most pleasant experience and I come with a money back guarantee. So if they don't like their service, I try to prevent bad reviews. So if they don't like their service or they have they they weren't satisfied, I will give my client their money back. It's very smart. Very, very smart. And we looked and we saw that you've had over 40,000 deletions for your clients. So clearly you have this down to a science. What are a, a couple key strategies that have been most effective for you for disputing items? Consistency, sending the letters on time, making sure you know what happened with this account, what codes to put on there, you know, what reasons to put on there, stuff like that. That's very important. Just knowing what you're talking about, knowing the different rules, reading up on the letters, everything's super self-explanatory, like with even with how you guys break it down from the drop downs on how to do stuff. Um, If they just take their time with it and go through it, because, you know, once you go through it once and then you send it out, now you're going to re-import. Once you re-import and you see 
the results and you see where it's at. Now people are like, okay, this is working. You know what I'm saying? So I just stay consistent. I try different letters. If one doesn't work, I'll try a different one. Like a, I'll, I'll do a warning letter and then a reinvestigation letter. And I just do different ones. And I'm just, I've been successful myself personally. I couldn't get, they wouldn't borrow me a pencil on my credit back in the day. Now I have a great credit score. So myself is my own testimony. I had horrible credit, horrible, horrible. If you look at my deletions on my own personal thing, it's crazy. And I will tell you, I one time had 388 deletions on one report wow. in 30 days. The client had just started 30 days before. That's why I tell my clients, everybody is not going to be the same. It's different for every single person. So I'm not going to lie to you. If you're looking for me to clean your credit in 30 days and everything to be off and you're walking into a mansion, then this is not the place for you. It takes time. You have to have patience. This is not an overnight process. We're going to stay as consistent as possible and do what we have to do on our end. You have to follow your client duties on your end. And, um, you know, if you just stay positive and, 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 you know, just stay patient, you will see the result. I'm not going to lie. It probably took me close to like a year and four months to completely fix my own personal credit, but I had evictions, repos, so many collections, hospital bills, and I have no negative remarks on my credit as of today uh, in 2023. That is awesome. I love it. What's coming up next for the credit click or for you? Or, or what are the major goals you got planned? So I really want to get into the Millionaires Club. I really want my plaque. Um, I don't want my phone to lose signal. I would take you downstairs to my office. Like I have like all my little stickers, the credit click, I mean the credit repair cloud stickers and like my magnets on my fridge. Um, I wear my credit uh, hero t-shirt. So I'm really in tune with it. As, as a matter of fact, I was actually uh -huh. reading this. Oh, hey. So I'm really in tune with all of your materials. So I just love your, your energy. You're so full of energy and passion and self-belief. What's one piece of advice you'd like to give new entrepreneurs who are listening? Don't get discouraged. Don't. It does not happen overnight. I had one girl that works for me. Um, she was not getting a lot of clients, but she would be consistent with her posting. And then just one day, she just started getting clients. So many of them. She was going viral on the internet. She just was bringing in so many clients. And um, she's one of my agents that works for me now. And um, I just told her she would be so discouraged, like, I haven't got any clients. I'm posting every day and blah, blah, blah. And you'll get the clients that have come back to you a couple of months later. Hey, I've been watching you every day. I've been seeing you post your results. I really want to come and get my credit fixed. I'm scared and blah, blah, blah. But once you tell them, like, the benefits of being a part of the credit click, how we have a contract, how we give your money back if you're not satisfied, how we guarantee you to see results in 30 to 45 days, or we're going to give you your money back. You get what I'm saying? Different things like that. Then they feel comfortable. I don't like taking clients that are in between. If you kind of don't know if you want to go with me, I don't, I don't want you to go with me. I'll tell a client, you know what? I want you to take some time and do some research and make sure that I'm the best fit for you because I'm not here to just take your money. I want to help you, but I want you to feel comfortable coming to me. And that right there, letting the clients know that you care about the way that they feel coming to you saves a lot of chargebacks, saves a lot of problems, and makes the client overall feel comfortable and feel like they can trust you. You're giving them your, uh, I have a whole other phone, a work phone. You're giving them a, a, a direct line to you. You know, they can call you, they can text you. They know that you're a real person. They know that not just anybody's just working their credit. People want to, to hear you. They want to know that you are really a real person. And I know that was like that for myself personally. So that's kind of my little spiel on that. That's really good advice. Hey, we're going to wind up soon. So we're going to switch gears for a moment. I want to ask you a few rapid questions and answer with the very first thing that pops into your head. Okay. Okay. Here we go. What's your business superpower? Our communication skills. What's your definition of success? Having something worth more than money. Money is not everything. So I feel like with the credit click, this is worth more than any dollar amount that I've made. Um, I love my whole entire company. I love what we stand for. I love how we give back and how we help others. So I feel like even if the credit click closed down today, I've gained such 
great relationships with people that it's worth more than anything in the world. So if you could go back in time and give yourself one piece of advice, what would it be? Don't rush the process. Have patience. Patience is key. Okay, last question. Before we wrap up, can you tell our listeners and watchers how they can connect with you and learn more about The Credit Click? Yep, you can visit us at our website at thecreditclick.net. We have an app in the App Store called Credit Click LLC. Our social media handles are all the same all the way around the board, Credit Click LLC. You can leave a review on Google, and that's pretty much it. We have, this, we have a Facebook as well. Awesome. Well, Nicole, I want to thank you so much for your time. This was a lot of fun, and I wish you continued success. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, it was a pleasure. And for everyone out there, if you're finding value in the things that I share on this podcast, click below to subscribe and follow. Also, give me a five-star review or share the show and help me to change more lives. If you'd like to read the show notes, they're posted on my blog. And if you have a question or a comment, drop it down below because I read each and every one of them and I'll respond as soon as I can. And if you want to learn more secrets to growing a credit repair business, check out my episode, How to Generate Leads Without Paid Ads. So take care, Credit Hero, and keep changing lives.